Sunda Wivatan Sundanese, English, early Sunda, real Sunda, or original Sunda, is a religious belief system of traditional Sundanese. It venerates the power of nature and the spirit of ancestors animism and dynamism. .The followers of this belief system can be found in some villages in western Java, such as Kanakis, Lebak, Banten, Siptijlur Kasepuhan Banten Kittel, Sisolik, Sukabumi, Kampung Naga, and Sigugor, Kuningan Regency. In Karita Parahyangan this faith is called Jatisunda. Its practitioners assert that Sunda Wivatan has been part of their way of life since ancient times, before the arrival of Hinduism and Islam. The sacred book of Sunda Wivatan is called Sanghyang Siksakanda ng Karijan, it is a didactic text of religious and moral guidance, rules and lessons. The text is identified as Kropak 630 by National Library of Indonesia. According to a Kokolot elder of Sikusik village, the people of Kanakis are not adherents to Hindu or Buddhist faiths, they follow an animistic system of belief that venerates and worships the spirits of ancestors. However, over the course of time Sunda Wivatan has been influenced by and incorporated Hindu, and to some extent, Islamic elements. Ontology and belief system the highest spiritual power in Sunda Wivatan is Sang Hyang Kursa, the powerful, or Nu Nagursakayan, he who has the will. This supreme being is also referred to by several names or divine titles, such as Batara Tungal, the one, Batara Jagat, ruler of universe, and Batara Seda Niskala, the unseen. Sang Hyang Kursa resides in the highest and most sacred realm called Wanan Yunking, Sundanese, lit. Pointy realm. The Hindu gods Brahma, Vishnu, Shiva, Indra, Yama, and so on are considered subordinates of Sang Hyang Kursa. According to Sunda Wivatan ontology, the universe consists of three realms Wan and Yunking, the pointy realm, or peak realm, the uppermost realm, the abode of the supreme highest Sang Hyang Kursa. Wana Panka Tenga, the middle world. Earth, the realm of human beings and animals, with five cardinal directions, east, west, north, south, and center, zenith. Wana Larang, the forbidden world. Hell, the realm of demons and lowly spirits, the lowermost realm, between Wana Nyunking, the peak realm, and Wana Panka Tenga, earth, there are 18 layers of realms, arranged in decreasing order of sacredness from top to bottom. The uppermost of these heavenly realms is called Bhumi Suki Alam Padang, or according to Kropak 630 Sanghyang Siksakanda ng Karijan, Alam Kahiangan or Mandala Hyang. This second highest realm is the abode of Nyi Pohachi Sanghyang Asri and Sun in Ambu. Sanghyang Kursa created seven bataras in Sasaka Pusaka Wana the sacred place on earth. The oldest of these bataras is called Batara Sikkal and is considered to be the ancestor of the Kanakis people. Other Bataras ruled various locations in Sunda lands. Topic. Value system Topic. The value system of Sunda Wivatan is based on written and unwritten internalized norms. The written norms are rules and taboos that govern the way of life of adherents, while the unwritten norms are internal and individual understandings of the faith. Sunda Wivatan's basic and principal concepts are based on two things, Kara Siri Manusha and Kara Siri Bangsa. Quote, These two principles are mentioned by Sunda Wivatan elders, yet are not explicitly mentioned in the Siksa Kanda ng Karijan, the sacred text of Sunda Wivatan. Kara Siri Manusha comprises the basic elements of human life. It consists of five fundamentals Well as ASIH, love and compassion. Undak USUK, social and family order Tata Krama, behavior order and rules of conduct, such as politeness and courteousness Budi Bahasa Dan Budaya, language and culture Waiwaha Yuda Narada, Yuda, meaning war or battle. This principle refers to the essential human characteristic of always being wary or suspicious of foreign or unknown influences. This reflects an inherent conservatism and resistance to change in traditional village life. It implies that influences incompatible with tradition must be rejected. The second concept of Kara Siri Bangsa states that people have universals or similarities in basic human traits, yet express diversity from one individual or community to another. These elements are the source of variety among human beings. 
Rupa, looks Adat, customs and rules Bahasa, language Aksara, letters Budaya, culture philosophy and value system emphasizes the internal or spiritual elements of human life, indicating that humans need spiritual guidance and wisdom in their lives. Originally Sunda Wivatan did not incorporate many taboos or prohibitions. The core rules of conduct consist of just two elements. Do not do something not to the taste of others. Something that others dislike, and do no harm to others. Do not do something to harm yourself. However, to honor sacred places Kabuyutan, Sasaka Pusaka Wana or Sasaka Domas and follow certain traditions in rice farming, Sunda Wivatan elaborated on many restrictions and taboos. The most numerous taboos called by it by Kanakis people are applied to those living within the most sacred place on earth. The people of Badwi Dalam that inhabit Sasaka Pusaka Wana sacred place on earth. Topic: Traditions and Ceremonies. Topic. In Sunda Wivatan tradition, prayer and ritual is performed through songs and chant of Pantan Sunda and Kidding dances. These ritual practices can be observed during the rice harvest ceremony and the annual New Year festival called Saran Tan. These customary ceremonies are still performed annually by the more traditional Sundanese communities in Kanakis, Lebak, Banton, Siptajlur Kasepuhan Banton Kittal, Sisolik, Sukabumi, Kampung Naga, and Sigugor, Kuningan. Although modern Sundanese people may practice Islam or adhere to other faiths, influences and value systems, certain elements of traditional customs, beliefs, and culture of Sunda Wivatan still survive into contemporary times. In terms of influence on their social values and cultural mores, Sundanese people have never abandoned traditional Sundanese beliefs. See also Topic. Animism Kejawen Hindu Dharma Topic. References Topic.